I talk to you? La prophétie continue. OK. Where is your partner? Come. He is your husband. Yes. Your partner. Yeah. <laughs> But I don't see him to be the first person. No. There was another man. Yeah. What brought about the divorce? Or well, a combination of things. Because I'm seeing a man before you. Yes, sir. That was with her. Yes, that. And something happened. Yes, that. You are a good woman. Thank you. And you love Jesus Christ. Yes. But spirit of alcohol, drinking, fighting, quarreling, brought about this thing. Yes, that's right. Huh? Yes. Yes. Is it, is it true? Because I'm just looking at the root of the problem. It's a nice woman. Yes, you're right. It's a nice woman. Mm. So I want you to forgive. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. <laughs> forgive and move forward. Thank you very much. Appreciate All right? it. Thank you. Yes. So the reason why I asked for this man, I just wanted to point you to the root. For you to know that this is not the first journey. Yes. You are coming from a journey and you are in another journey. Yeah. So you need God I to do. move forward. Yeah. Thank you, okay? Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sons of Heaven, my name is Leslie Ikane and I've come here from Ireland. The person standing next to me is my husband, Chris. I have come here today to confirm the word of the prophecy last Sunday. I confirm that it is true. Our sister right here was present in church last week by the grace of God. She received a word of prophecy through the servant of God, Apostle John Chi, and she's right here to confirm the words of prophecy she received. So, Madam, what were the words of prophecy you received from God through his servant, Apostle John Chi? Yes, the man of God told me that my husband here wasn't my first husband, and that my previous relationship had broken down as a result of alcohol and quarreling. This is true. I was in a relationship and there was a lot of problems as a result of alcohol. I used to drink six to eight bottles of alcohol and we used to quarrel all the time and we never sorted our problems out. The relationship eventually came to an end and I prayed to Jesus that I would become a better person and I stopped drinking and what I prayed for was that I would be content on my own that I would be just happy by myself, but Jesus brought me my fine husband here, and he doesn't smoke or drink, so he became a great influence in my life. And I had planned to come to Cameroon in November, we planned it, but I had not realized that my husband was going to bring me here and that I would meet the man of God. And the prophecy confirmed to me that it is It's true, and everything happened the way it was meant to happen by Jesus. Nous sommes en train d'écouter le témoignage de notre sœur qui nous dit que le dimanche passé, elle a reçu un, une parole prophétique venant de la part de l'homme de Dieu qui lui disait que elle a fait face à plusieurs difficultés dans ses relations et qu'elle s'est séparée dû à un problème dans ses relations dont elle confirme aujourd'hui d'être vraie. Elle témoigne encore que auparavant, quand elle était mariée à un certain homme, elle buvait beaucoup et elle était très agressive mais de la rupture 
de cette relation, elle, elle a décidé de se contenter de ce qu'elle a jusqu'au jour où elle a rencontré son mari ici présent. Et ce, celui-ci a été une grande influence dans sa vie parce que ce dernier ne buvait pas et ne fumait pas. Et elle rend gloire à Dieu parce que ce dernier lui a donné l'opportunité de voir l'homme de Dieu, l'apôtre Jonchi, qui ce dimanche dernier lui a donné ses paroles prophétiques dont elle confirme d'être vraie. I was drinking a lot of alcohol because I had a lot of issues regarding my family, different issues financially, many, many things. Cette dernière est en train de confirmer la deuxième parole prophétique qu'elle a reçue de la part de l'homme de Dieu dimanche dernier, qui lui disait que le, la rupture de sa relation était due à l'esprit de colère, d'alcoolisme et de beaucoup d'autres choses et dont elle confirme d'être vraie et elle dit que elle a pour habitude de prendre 6 à 8 bouteilles d'alcool. We were quarreling as a result of the alcohol. You know, we weren't sorting through our problems. The relationship was wrong. And I find the prophecy is true because how would the man of God be able to relay these words about the alcoholism just by seeing me here in the church? Elle confirme ses paroles de prophétie, de prophétie d'être vrai dans sa vie comme étant un résultat d'alcoolisme. My name uh, is Chris Ali Ekane. And the person standing beside me is my wife. And what brought us here was a, a problem of uh, alcoholism. Because my wife always she has a temper that I can't say anything to her that maybe like a husband when i say something he will tell me that is not the things we had a problem. i'm telling you it's wonderful because everything we do now is so nice so beautiful because i was not i wasn't even expecting that because even the day i took my wife to i, I took my wife from the hotel to come here he said uh, it was he didn't even wanted to come but due to god's power god says It's, it's, it's good to be late than to be, than never. So I'm so much happy because today, at times in the night now, she will touch me, please, let's get up, let's pray together. So before, no, she will sleep until the next day. And even maybe I'm praying, he will see that maybe I'm only, I'm only disturbing. But from now, even if maybe he put the mic, he will sing, he will sing here, maybe you will surprise. Because always when I want to pray, I will start praises, praises, and at Hallelujah! Times... Can we give a clap of renown to Jesus Christ? Nous sommes en train d'écouter le témoignage de Kanye qui nous présente ici sa femme, qui nous dit que le problème qu'il a amené ici, c'est le problème d'alcoolisme dont il confirme la prophétie qu'a donné l'homme de Dieu d'être vrai et que ce problème l'a tellement affecté au point où sa femme ne le respectait pas. Sa femme était toujours arrogante, était toujours colérique et quand bien même il fallait prier, celle-ci voyait les, la prière comme étant une, une affaire de nuisance et il remercie Dieu parce que depuis que sa femme a reçu ses paroles prophétiques et le toucher de l'homme de Dieu, elle est maintenant une nouvelle personne. Elle parvient maintenant à le réveiller dans la nuit pour qu'ils puissent prier ensemble. Il rend gloire à Dieu pour cela. This has helped me a lot. Even this morning, I'm surprised. Yesterday, I drove from the to, uh, to bang him, and I came, I was even tired, but this morning, he said, Chris, get up, we need to go to the service, I said, okay, I'm, I'm tired, he said, no, we need to go, so it's something that I can't even express it, but I know that God is so wonderful. Il nous fait comprendre qu'après une longue conduite, il était épuisé, ne voulant pas venir à l'église aujourd'hui, mais cette dernière, qui est sa femme, a insisté qu'il vienne ici, et il rend gloire à Dieu pour cela. My advice is always to faith and to trust in Jesus. And my promise to God is that I will walk in the light of God alongside my husband. Elle conseille à toute personne d'avoir la foi en Christ et de, de, de développer une attitude de foi envers lui et d'avoir confiance en Christ. Et elle conseille et elle promet qu'elle va marcher sous la lumière de Dieu ensemble avec son mari.